Hello students, this is Sir Murtaza from Al Murtaza School and uh, I'm your physics teacher for class 9 and this is our first lecture uh, for the syllabus of class 9, aka UAB. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we are going to talk about what is physics because definitely we are studying physics so we should first know about what actually is physics. Okay, what is the definition of physics or you know and more relative terms so the definition of physics is physics is a branch of science in which we study about the physical properties of matter and the laws governing these physical properties so it means that physics is that branch of science in which we study about the physical properties of matter okay and the laws governing these physical properties as we know that matter obeys some physical pro uh, some laws regarding or governing physical properties so in physics we are going to discuss about the physical properties of matter and the laws which these matters obeys okay so let's move on so here comes a question can we imagine life without physics uh, if I ask you, can you imagine life without physics in this era, uh, which is a high tech era and in which we use uh, a lot of technical things, can we imagine a life without physics? It is impossible. Okay. Uh, in our daily life, we use a lot of things, which is the blessings of physics. And, uh, and these are those inventions or those instruments, which is being made or invented because of physics. For example, for example, if we talk about police to lift heavy loads, this instrument is made because of physics okay without physics it can't be possible likewise electric motors can we think about uh, a life without electric motors electric motors means can we imagine a life without vehicle or can we imagine a life without generators it is almost impossible for us to imagine a life without physics okay and there are some more examples fans can we imagine in this hot summer vacation uh, in summer season uh, can we imagine a life without fans? No, it is very, very harder for us uh, if we imagine a life without fans, okay? Likewise, domestic appliances like refrigerator, washing machines, air conditioners, these all instruments are invented because of physics and without physics, these instruments can't be possible. So we can't imagine a life without physics. If we imagine a life or if we just assume like we are living a life without physics, it would be very hard for us, okay? Let's move on. Now, now we have a, we will talk about the total chapters uh, which we are going to discuss in class nine physics, uh, or what is the syllabus, or what are the number of chapters we are we have to uh, cover for our syllabus, uh, or we could say for the AKU EP curriculum. So there are total of nine chapters. We will study nine chapters, and the paper will come from these nine chapters. So definitely uh, we will start with chapter number one, then we will move to chapter number two, three, four, till chapter number nine. And in this way, we will uh, inshallah going to cover our whole syllabus. Okay. So now we are going to start with chapter number one. Okay. So chapter number one, the name of this chapter is physical quantities and measurement. So the name of this chapter is physical quantities and measurement. It means that in this chapter, we are going to study about the physical quantities and its measurement. Okay, so what is the first thing which comes in our mind when we, when we talk about physical quantities that what are actually physical quantities? Okay, so let's look at its definition. So what are physical quantities? Uh, if you look at its name and just make an assumption, you could say that those quantities which are physical or you could say that uh, you know, just loosely speaking, you could say that those quantities which we can see by naked eyes that are physical quantities. So these are all your assumptions. What is the actual definition of physical quantities? The actual definition is all measurable quantities are called physical quantities like length, mass, time, temperature, etc. It means that those quantities which you can measure or you could say which can be counted are called as physical quantities. And the examples are length, mass, time, temperature, etc. For example, if we talk about length, can we measure it? Yes, definitely we can measure it. For example, if you're talking about a rod, we could say it two meters or we could, uh, for example, if I talk about your scale, normally it is of 30 centimeter or 15 centimeter. So it means it can be measured and it is a physical quantities. Likewise, if I talk about mass, again, it is a physical quantity and it can be measured. It can be measured like 20 kg or it can be measured like 200 grams, etc. Again, if we talk about time, so 
so time can be measured 4 seconds 10 seconds 15 hours okay we can measure it and likewise temperature we can measure it so you have to remember what are physical quantities those quantities which can be measured or you could uh, say like this that which can be counted okay let's talk a little more further about physical quantities so a physical quantity possesses two characteristics one is its numerical magnitude and other is its unit for example if the length of a rod is 5 meter then 5 is its magnitude and meter is its unit okay so uh, let's understand it so whenever we talk about physical quantity always you could see that it has two characteristics one is its numerical magnitude and other is its unit so for example if we talk about the length of a rod so it is you you could say it like 5 meter so 5 will be its magnitude and meter will be its unit okay so for physical quantity whenever you talk about a physical quantity you will always talk about its magnitude and you will always talk about its unit okay and it is meaningless for a physical quantity uh, to express it without either uh, without a mag magnitude or without a unit for example if i talk 10 if i say to you 10 so what is 10 or if i say to you for example seconds so only seconds so what is only seconds but if i say you 10 seconds so you could understand that you're talking about time and which is about 10 seconds okay so for a physical quantity uh, it is very important that you you should always tell its magnitude and you should always tell its unit okay so now uh, let's move uh, more further now what are non physical quantities any idea what are non physical quantities if physical quantities are those quantities which can be measured then definitely non physical quantities should be those quantities which cannot be measured okay so any idea those quantities which you can't measure okay any idea hmm okay one thing i uh, i, I want to tell you uh, that in my class when i asked to the students in the physical class that any idea about non physical quantities like those quantities which you can't count so one student tell me uh, said like uh, sir the hairs in our head these are non physical quantities i said why he said because we can't count it uh so you know it is a logic that the hairs in our head we can't count it it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that it can't be counted okay it can be counted the hairs in our head can be counted you know you can understand likewise if i just uh, if i not talk about my whole hairs for example if i'm talking about my hairs i'm not talking about my whole hairs i'm just selecting some of my hairs and start counting it can i count it yes i can count it so if i can count it so it means what it is it is a physical quantity okay Uh, because i can count it i can measure it likewise a student said me that uh, sir raindrops we can't count it so we can't count the whole raindrops but some of the raindrops can be counted okay so it it doesn't mean that uh, those uh, things which you can't count cannot be counted it can be counted so the question arises what are non physical quantities so the examples of non physical quantities are feelings and emotions okay if we talk about one's feelings or emotions so can you say that for example if i'm happy today so how much happy i am today i am happy this much this much or this much i can't count it uh, again for example if i talk about my excitement uh, for something uh, you can't count it so feelings and emotions it, it cannot be measured or it cannot be counted so it means that these are the examples of non physical quantities okay and you just have to remember uh, non physical quantities uh till its definition okay not further elaboration is required we will elaborate more uh, about physical quantities okay so now we are going to talk about the types of physical quantities so how many types of physical quantities do we have there are two types of physical quantities number 1 is base quantity and number 2 is derived quantity you have to remember the names and also the uh, types that there are two types number 1 is base and number 2 is derived quantity so let's first talk about base quantities so the definition of base quantity as its name defines that it is based or you could say that it is fundamental okay so the definition would be similar to this uh the definition is these are also called as fundamental quantities okay base quantities are also called as fundamental quantities and it includes length mass time length mass time are the examples of base quantities further these are the quantities on the basis of which other quantities are expressed okay you know uh, these are the base of fundamental quantities so it means that these are the quantities on the basis of which other quantities are expressed 
okay so these are base quantities on the basis of which other quantities are expressed and the examples are length mass time etc okay now we are going to talk about derived quantities again as the name defines that it is derived by something okay or you could say that it is based on something so again the definition is similar to this those physical quantities which are expressed in terms of base quantities uh, are called derived quantities it includes area speed power etc so if we talk about uh, derived quantities it is it is expressed in terms of base quantities and for example if i take the example of area so what is area area is length into length or you could say length into breadth so it means that it is based on length two times length that is why we called it as derived quantity if we talk about speed so you know the unit of speed it is meter per second so it means meter length second and uh, is time so it means that it is based on length and time okay that is the reason this is a derived quantity so derived quantities are those quantities which are expressed in terms of base quantities okay so this is it for this uh, lecture video and uh, hopefully uh, you have understand of all the topics so let's just have a very quick review that we, what we have talked uh, you know in our first lecture video of uh, class 9 physics so let's have a, a quick review okay so we have started with chapter number 1 and before that i told you that uh, how many chapters do we have in class 9 physics we have total 9 chapters uh, then we started with chapter number 1 and you should remember uh, the name and the of this chapter which is physical quantities and measurement then we talk about physical quantities and what are physical quantities so we said or we learned that those quantities which are measurable okay are called physical quantities like length mass time etc and furthermore we uh, we we learned that uh, a physical quantity uh, always have two characteristics one is its magnitude and other is its unit and it is meaningless for a physical quantity to express it without uh, magnitude either by a magnitude or without a unit okay then we talk about non physical quantities so the definition was those quantities which cannot be measured and the examples were feelings and emotions we can't count or measure the feelings and emotions okay then further we discuss about the types of physical quantities uh, we learned that there are two types of physical quantities one is based and the other is derived okay so then we talk about base quantity what is its definition uh, these are also called as fundamental quantities and furthermore we uh, we, uh, we learned that uh, these are the quantities on the basis of which other quantities are expressed okay these are the fundamental these are the foundation for the quantities and the other quantities are expressed on the basis of base quantities okay then drive quantities as the name defines that it is derived by something so the definition is those physical quantities which are expressed in terms of base quantities okay so this is it for this video hope uh, hopefully you uh, have liked and understand all the topics clearly so now inshallah we will uh, we will uh, we will inshallah meet very soon in the next lecture uh, so till then allah hafiz and uh, i'm just stopping it okay uh